Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Chef June is about to take you on a journey looking at all aspects of Filipino food. Let's go. Sinigang na bangos or milk feast in sour broth is an all-time favorite dish of Filipinos. The sour taste of tamarind or sampalok in Tagalog gives the distinctive taste of the broth. There are many ways of cooking this dish. You can use pork or chicken, even a shrimp or prawns. This is absolutely delicious. Bistec is a Filipino style of beef steak made from thinly sliced beef and marinated with soy sauce, calamansi juice, and onion ring. Cook with the marinade and some water. This is so yummy. Adobong posit is a fresh and tasty squid dish. Cook using the popular Filipino adobo method. Squid is simmered with onion, garlic, vinegar, squid ink, and soy sauce. The cooking time is 30 minutes maximum. Leche plan, the Filipino version of creamy caramel, made with egg yolks, evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk, brown sugar as a syrup, and vanilla extract. This is popular Pinoy dessert that has thick custard covered in runny caramel. This is super, super yummy. Sinigang again, but this time with pork or as we say, baboy. By tradition, the souring ingredients of this dish comes from a tamarind fruit. If there was one dish that I could eat every day, it would be sinigang. Camarón rebosado is a deep fried buttered shrimp dish in a Philippine cuisine. Typically served with sweet and sour sauce. It is similar to Japanese tempura, although tempura uses a lighter butter. Lichun belly is a roasted pig, slowly cooked over charcoal heat. The crispiness of its skin is one of the best features of roasted pig. Lechon is known for their spices and herbs, particularly the combination of lemongrass, leeks, salt, pepper, and garlic as a stuffing inside the pig's belly. This is so crispy. Halo Halo is a popular Filipino ice dessert. Halo Halo literally means mix mix. Boiled sweet beans, gelatin, fresh sweet fruits, stuffed with shaped ice, evaporated milk, and ice cream. The ultimate Filipino dessert. Buko pandan is the classic and popular Filipino dessert made of young coconut fruit, pandan, or screw pine leaves. Buko pandan is a refreshing dessert quite similar to buko salad. Adobong baboy or port adobo is one of the favorite dishes of the Filipinos. The traditional way of cooking this dish is to marinate the port with a mixture of soy sauce. It is simple to make and only requires a very few ingredients. The classic of all classics. Sisig or port sisig is a Pinoy delicacy originated from Pampanga. There are many varieties of sisig like chicken, tuna, milkfish, and tofu. The original sisig recipe makes use of pig's brain as a binder. Kare-kare is a Philippine stew complemented with a thick, savory peanut sauce. It is made from a variation base of stewed oxtail, pork hocks, calves feet, pig feet, and occasionally offal or tripe.
Beef caldereta is a popular Filipino dish that is served during parties and holidays. It traditionally uses goat meat as the main ingredients, but beef, chicken, or pork may be used instead. Pancit bihon in Filipino cuisine, pancit means noodles, and bihon is rice sticks. Pancit bihon is a classic dish in the Philippines, normally eaten with a slice of bread, not with rice. Bicol means sinilihan or chili, a Filipino dish which was popularized in the district of Malate, Manila, but made in traditional Bicolano style. The outcome of this dish can be described as pork cooked in coconut milk with shrimp paste and chilies. This is so spicy. Aruscaldo is a popular Filipino congee. This chicken aruscaldo version makes use of glutinous rice or malakit in Tagalog. The name aruscaldo was Spanish in origin but the dish itself originates from the Chinese. We call it chicken and rice stew. Lomi is a type of Filipino chicken noodle soup. Compared to traditional chicken soup, the broth for this particular soup version is thicker. Pancit lomi is a hearty soup made with noodles, chicken, liver, eggs, and vegetables. Bulalo is a beef dish from the Philippines. It is a light-colored soup that is made by cooking beef chunks and bone marrow. Bulalo is a native to the southern Luzon region of the Philippines. Balot Balot is a famous street food in the Philippines. Balot is a developing bird embryo that is boiled and eaten from the shell. Not everyone can eat balot. We consider this an exotic food. Quek quek or tokneneng. A popular variation of tokneneng is quek quek. The main difference the two lies in the egg that is used. Quek quek traditionally made with quail eggs, while tokneneng is made with chicken egg. Filipino pork barbecue is a street food made of pork slices marinated in a sweet barbecue sauce and skewered in bamboo sticks. Sweet, salty, and slightly spicy. These Filipino style kebab are seriously addicting. The chongkawali is a popular Filipino dish made with pork belly, simmered until tender, and then deep fried until golden and crispy. A very tasty Filipino dish with flavors of garlic and bay leaves. This is all time favorite. Chicken afritada is a Filipino stew. Mechado, caldereta, and afritada are Spanish-influenced tomato sauce-based dishes that are somewhat similar to one another. In these dishes, chicken is cooked in tomato sauce. La Paz Bachoy is a soup dish composed of sliced pork, pork organs, and making noodles. This dish originated from the district of La Paz in Iloilo City, in the island of Panay. This soup is so delicious. In Filipino cuisine, pancit are noodles. Pancit palabok is a type of Filipino dish that makes use of cornstarch sticks, which is also known as palabok noodles. It has an orange sauce composed of minced pork, tinapa flakes, or smoked fish flakes, and anato water. Papaitan is a famous Ilocano soup dish, mostly composed of cow or goat innards. The name of the dish was derived from the Filipino word pait, which means bitter. The bitter taste of this soup comes from the bile.
Tinakbet is an indigenous Filipino dish from the northern regions of the Philippines. Pinakbet is made from mixed vegetables steamed in fish or shrimp sauce. Pork minudo is a Filipino stylish chew made with diced pork, liver, carrots, potatoes, bell peppers, raisins, and tomatoes. This type of dish usually is served at special occasions like fiestas and holiday season. Adobong atay ng manok or chicken liver in Tagalog. Consider this an exotic food or weird, but this is such a delicious recipe that probably most Filipinos love. Extra rice please! Giniling means to mince or to chop. Giniling na bakar or minced beef is stewed in tomato sauce and water to bring out the taste. The good thing to this dish is done with lesser effort and time. This is one of my favorite. Taho is a Philippine snack food made of fresh soft silk and tofu, arnibal and sago. This staple comfort food is a signature sweet. Taho feathers can be found all over the country. And you can find this taho in China, Japan, Thailand, and Vietnam. Hi everyone! Street food can be found on any road around the country, being an important part of Filipino culture. Walking around the street food market seems to be seen taken right out of a fear factor. Roadside stands also serve barbecue chicken, pig's ear, pig's blood or dried chicken blood, offal, balut, chicken liver and gizzard, chicken in the steam, or we call it isaw, tokneneng, and kwek kwek. Philippine street food also includes pork barbecue, chicken feet. It sounds disgusting, but many swear on the health benefits of chicken feet from curing joint pain and looking younger from the collagen content. A popular staple in the Philippine street food is chicken feet, which is commonly known as adidas. No part goes to waste, Filipinos also like grilled chicken head. We call it helmet. Not only refers to protective headgear, but also a Filipino slang for barbecue chicken head. Isa made from barbecue pigs or chicken intestines. The intestines are cleaned, turned inside out, and cleaned again. It is best when toasted and dipped in a spicy vinegar concoction. The most common Filipino street foods include fried squid balls or bola bola and kikyam a type of processed chicken and pork which is served on a wooden stick with a variety of dips and sauces. 